everyone and welcome to another uh, book talk, although really this covers so much more than books. But today I am going to talk about some of our magazines and those who, of you who are especially observant may notice that I'm dressed the same as I was last week because while I was filming last week's video I realized I'm in the magazine room. Why not feature some magazines? So here we go. Quilters, people interested in quilting, people interested in beautiful art. We have American Quilter Magazine. I mean, look at that. Even if you're not a quilter, I'm sure you can appreciate the color choices, the artistry that goes into these. I am a very much beginning quilter, as in like nine square. Also, I've never actually finished one that I'm working on, so you know, extra beginner. But it is fun, and uh, this includes, you know, tool recommendations, tips, projects. If you're interested in quilting, good one to check out. Another magazine that we have here in the library is Woodcraft Magazine. As you can see, the project they talk about is Dimplebox. Pretty neat. I don't know about you, but I would enjoy something like that. I have no skill to make it, but it could be fun to look at. And this one, again, I'm, I'm sure many of you are familiar with what is included in uh, hobby magazines. But this, again, it's one where you might not realize that we carry it. Um, you may not realize that we are checking out magazines right now. We absolutely are. Um, if you are just looking for not a specific issue, but maybe just a selection, um, even if you're not sure of the titles, you can do topics, fill out an adult book bundle request, and I would be happy to pick some out for you. We can even just do kind of a grab bag if you'd like. So yeah, magazines, don't forget, we have them available. And another one that caught my eye is Fine Gardening. And this issue talks about the best native perennials. But what really caught my eye was frost-friendly container plantings. Uh, it hasn't been super cold here yet, but it's gonna get there, and that's something, if you like to extend your gardening season further than, you know, September, that might be something you wanna look at. And, again, even if you're not a prolific gardener, very pretty pictures. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you just wanna flip through a magazine and look at some pretty pictures. No judgment here, I do the same thing. Uh, next we have Beer and Brewing. Best in Beer 2020 Editor's Picks. I mean, who's curious? Me. I am. I'm curious. So our top 20 beers of 2020, readers' favorite beers and breweries, critic picks, big trends, winning recipes, brewing gear, and more. So this is obviously for people who enjoy beer and enjoy making their own beer. If you're looking uh, at starting a new hobby this winter, you know, something to stay home and do while you're home, maybe brewing is something you're interested in. Might be something you might want to check out. So the last title I have to mention is Edible Madison. That looks good. I would eat that. This issue um, features a local feast, merry cocktails, beans, corn, and more. And this magazine is celebrating the abundance of local foods in southern Wisconsin. And especially now as, uh, you know, small businesses are struggling, it, it might be especially important to you to check out local food, local food sources, what's going on in the cooking arena in the area, maybe a restaurant you want to get curbside pickup from. Who's, who knows? But again, very pretty pictures in here. Uh, I happen to love butternut squash. See what else is in here oh roasted butternut squash with maple chipotle butter is one of the recipes in here so yeah lots of recipes in here too um i'm gonna have to check this one out <laughs> this one might come home with me today so anyway that's just a very small selection of the magazines we have available you can see we have more pop culture behind me we have lots more craft ones food celebrities um we have just looking over here we have health magazines, Vogue, yoga, outdoors, all sorts of things. And it, once again, I know it's kind of hard to pick like, oh, I want this issue of a magazine on reserve. Fill out a book bundle request. I'm happy to help you select something that fits what you're looking for. So I hope you enjoyed this little selection of our magazines and I'll see you next time.